Cape Evans, I think people walk in here and are fascinated by it and have such strong connections to the Scott story and all of those famous exploits. You know, Royds, you walk into and everyone thinks, I could live here, this is nice. You know, we could light the stove and you know, have a cup of tea. Discovery, I think when you walk in there, you think, how did they survive? It strikes you that this is a very, very cold and dangerous place and that some of them didn't make it and the ones who did, many of them were very, very lucky. The purpose of the project ultimately is to conserve the huts and the heritage that they represent, keep that really important link between the buildings and their objects and those uh, iconic stories of adventure and her heroism, and inspire um, future generations. You know, when we first walked into these buildings uh, 10, 11 years ago, the, uh, they felt damp, they were cold, close spaces, you could see frost rising on the walls. Um, the floors were like walking on solid blocks of ice. Snow was actually halfway up the, uh, the roof line. I arrived in 2004 to find a flood. The general conditions inside the building was causing a lot of physical damage and moisture damage to the objects, especially the metal objects. So There's a lot of corrosion in the huts. There's sort of three facets to the uh, carpentry work. Um, one is to make the building weathertight and structurally sound. And the second is to improve the microclimate within the building for the artifact collection. And the third thing is to remove contemporary material that was introduced in the 60s and 80s and making them historically correct. The huts have been improved hugely inside their, their conditions by the, the carpentry work that's gone on. But you're still putting artifacts back into a, a relatively uncontrolled environment. Um, and just finding what treatments will actually work, what coatings will work in, in that environment and to protect the artefacts has been an interesting journey, I think, for, for AHT. In the entire collection across all the huts, there's around about 20,000 objects. You know, the, the amount of work to do is more than many labs usually would process because we've got a very short window and, and very high number of artefacts to conserve. Well, the work that we've seen here, particularly at Evans, is absolutely outstanding. I mean, it's very difficult to understand how hard it is to do something down here, how long it takes to, uh, to get dressed in the morning. So when you embark on these really complex issues of digging out ice and dehumidifying a building, and you can't shoot off down to the uh, corner hardware store, and over the 10 or so seasons that work has been done here, there's a great deal of forethought and planning and some outstanding uh, expertise. More than 60 people, individuals, have been involved with the project, either coming to work as conservators or coming to work as heritage carpenters or, or architects. Living and working down here, it's really, it's really hard work. It's a tough environment and um, not everyone likes the cold, not everyone likes camping and um, not everyone likes really long days in the cold whilst camping. <laughs> goal of any conservator is to, to do all of this work and to, and to do it to such an extent that nobody can tell what you've done by the time you're finished. So we've been here for 10 years and we've done this, uh, you know, this tremendous range of um, activities and interventions. And now when you walk into the buildings, they smell healthy and, uh, and, and you smell all the rich flavors of uh, wood and canvas and leather. The floor has a ring and a bounce to it. As you walk across it, the doors close and, and um, stick back into place. You really feel like we've created an environment that's healthy for the collection that it holds. A really, really cool thing is when visitors come to the hut now, especially ones who've been here before, and they see a lot more detail. The nature of the, a lot of the conservation treatments is that the forms of objects or, or the colours have just been revealed more. Some of the shoes and boots, you can see you know, exactly where it was worn down at the heel. So that's really, really cool to, to, to come into the building and to be able to see so much more. A lot more colour, uh, a lot more detail, and therefore a lot more understanding of the huts and how they were used and the people who lived here.